Product research just got a whole lot easier. I'm so excited to be doing this video for you guys. AutoDS just released a new product research feature integrated inside the system and this is going to be absolutely revolutionary and it's already out and ready for you guys to use. Let me show you how everything works inside this new product research system and enjoy these extra cells. Quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone, my name is Liran from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've also been selling online for the last several years and in this video I'm going to show you guys a new feature that just came out in AutoDS which you guys can already start using right now and this is a new product research feature. With this new update you guys are going to have a much easier time finding what products to sell and no matter what stage you're on in your dropshipping adventure, I'm sure that you guys are going to find many, many products to sell with this new feature. So let's get right to it. One second before that, if you have not done so yet, this is the part right now where you guys need to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that are coming out in the world of e-commerce and dropshipping. Having said that, let's jump straight into the action. So this is the AutoDS platform that you guys are all familiar with, but now, the new thing is right up here you see it says platform right now we're looking at the AutoDS platform if I click on these dots right here on the top left I can click on product research so let's click on that and see what happens lo and behold AutoDS's greatest and latest feature so right now we're looking at all products and all of these products are coming from different suppliers all integrated inside the AutoDS system a quick note about these products we're always adding more and more products this is only the beginning and we're also adding more suppliers to this list we also have product statistics that are going to come out soon so you guys can see how well these products are performing before entering the product page and also we've got the holiday products that you see here on the left side that of course is always updating according to the relevant holidays that we have coming up so you guys can always prepare your e-commerce stores in advance and this tool is going to help you guys so much let's dive deep into it so first thing that i'm seeing right here is all products so here i'm obviously seeing all of the products so let's see what options we have first i can select which store i would like to address these products to so you can of course select your ebay store your shopify store your facebook marketplace store whatever store that you want you can of course select also multiple stores and when you find a product that you like like let's say for example this cat tree product over here i can simply click on import product and that is how simple it is to import this product into the store that i have selected over here which is my pet shop discount shopify store and as we can see right now i have a view in drafts button so it changed from import product to view in drafts which means it's already ready so let's click on that and as we can see the create drafts is currently in progress so we're going to give that one minute and for now, we're going to go back and see what features we actually have in this product research tool. Okay, so these are the products that we have. As you know, we can import the product by simply clicking over here or view it in the drafts page after we click it. Now, what do we have here? So we have the product's image. We have the supplier where it's coming from. So this specific product is coming from AliExpress. We have the product's title, the product cost, and of course here you have a price range, which means that we have different variations inside this product. Then we have the retail price. That's the suggestion price of selling these products but of course it's only for for an indication you can sell for more and make more profit if you wish then you have the shipping time so this is how long it takes to actually reach the buyer so it actually helps you in understanding what your shipping policy needs to be when importing this specific product so that's all of the things that we can see from the outside and as i mentioned soon you'll see product st statistics and more things here you can choose what country you want to ship to so right now we are seeing all of the products that can ship to the United States and of course if your target audience is the UK or Germany or France, Italy, Australia, Canada, Spain, you can choose whatever country you want and which currency you would like to see. So you can definitely target different markets and have success and when you have success in one market I definitely suggest to try to sell that same product on another market and see how that works there. So you can easily test out these products on different markets and beat your competition. Next, we have the filters. So let's see what options we have here. I'm going to click on add filter and here we can filter from different warehouses. So let's click on that. And here I can select which warehouse I would like to choose that the products are coming out of. So for example, if I wanna see what products are shipping from Canada and I wanna ship them to the Canadian market, 
then I'm going to choose Canada in the warehouses. And up here that I just showed you a minute ago, I'm going to choose Canada in the ship to country. So ships from Canada to Canada. And that way I can easily find products that can ship fast and domestically from Canada to Canada, keep it all under the same house and have a huge advantage over my competition once again. So that's the first filter. You can also filter supplier. So choose whatever supplier you want the item cost, the retail price, which is the suggested price to sell, the product rating. So for example, I only want to see products that have over a four or four and a half star rating. I don't want to have low quality products with two or three stars. You can filter different categories. So if you want a specific category, that's where you're going to do it from. You can also filter from a certain UPC. So if you have a certain UPC that's selling well, you can see you can filter it from that UPC and see more items. You can filter shipping days. So how long it takes to reach the customer. If you don't want anything too long, then choose anything below, let's say 20 or 14 shipping days. Last updated date. So the last time this product was updated in our database and the amount of reviews. So total number of reviews. Like for example, I don't want to see any products that have less than 20 reviews because that doesn't give me a great indication of how that product is performing. So those are all of the filters that you have. Next, you have the different menu options on the left side. So we saw all of the products. Now let's see popular products. Here we have automatic filters of rating greater than 4.5 and amount of reviews greater than 100. So those two filters have been implemented to show us what products are popular and selling really hot right now. You can of course continue adding more filters to filter this down some more like specific category or the items cost or whatever supplier and of course warehouse which is really smart if you want to ship it quickly domestically under the same market next you have new products so these are all of the products that have just been added to our product research database then you've got holiday product which as i explained is going to get you guys ready for the upcoming holidays so while i'm recording this video today is november 17th Next month, as you guys know, is Christmas and we're already getting you guys ready with the most popular Christmas products. And as I've mentioned, the holiday products are always going to update according to what holiday we have coming up next. So you guys can always be ready and always prepare yourselves ahead of your competition and not at the last minute when you just remembered that a holiday is about to come up. Next, we've got US suppliers. So you can see all of the products that are coming out of USA suppliers. So if you're targeting the US market, this is the place for you. Of course, you can continue fi adding filters. So the filter that was added here is the United States warehouse and the same thing for China suppliers so if you want to get cheap Chinese products coming out of China you can simply click on China suppliers then you'll have the filter warehouses China and you can continue adding filters like a filter I would add here is shipping days because it's coming out of China I don't want it to take too long and I would probably also go for item cost if I'm only in the beginning of my drop shipping journey I cannot sell products that are too expensive so I would go for item costs up to 20 to 30 dollars and try to sell them. Another thing is that you can also sort the products that you're seeing on this page. So for example, I'm going to click here and I can sort the products that I'm seeing from the price. So ascending, descending and your shipping time. So the lowest shipping times to the highest or the highest to the lowest. So those are the basic options that you have with this new product research tool. And I'm absolutely sure that you guys are going to find it very beneficial for your drop shipping business. Now, let me show you once we added that product to our drafts page, how we can actually edit it. So I can go, I can click on all products and find that product again and I can click on view in drafts or I can simply click these dots up here again and go back to the AutoDS platform. In this case I'll click on view in drafts. Here is the product just like I saw it over there on the product research tool and now I can start optimizing this product before importing it to my pet shop discount Shopify store. Now it makes sense it's a pet niche store and I've got this cat tower product to sell on that store. So let's go ahead. So the first thing that I can do is optimize my products title. So here, for example, I have a word in Russian. We don't want to use it and we can continue like fast delivery. That is absolutely not needed on our title. And as you can see, I have a lot more space to continue optimizing this title. Next, I'm going to add it to a certain collection and we've got tags that AutoDS is adding automatically. So AutoDS added home and garden, pet products, cat supplies, furnitures and scratchers. I can add it to a collection. Let's see if I've got something here. Nothing here is relevant. So I'll create a new collection called 
Cat Towers. Click over here and the collection was just created. This is only for Shopify, of course. If you guys are dropshipping on eBay or the Facebook Marketplace, you will not see the collections over here. Then you've got the item's location and the brand. Next, you can choose what monitoring you want. So stock monitoring, price monitoring, and automatic orders for this product. And you've got the product's description. So here you can optimize your product's description. These letters look different on AliExpress. So for example, I would edit them out. You can make it a bullet list. You can do so many things. This is just a really small example. Then you've got the variants. So this is all of the variations that you have for this product. And as you can see, AutoDS is importing all of the variants that this product has. Some of them are in stock, most of them are in stock, and some of them are out of stock. So if you don't want the out of stock ones, you can easily remove them. And you can optimize each variant one by one. So you can click on it, see its pricing settings, see the general settings like its dimensions, its size, its weight, and so forth. Continue optimizing your product, go to the images section. Here you can do so much editing when it comes to the image editor. As you can see, AutoDS grabbed all of the product's images. I can simply click on edit over here and I've got an advanced image editor to do whatever I want with this product. I can crop, I can add text, I can draw, I can add shapes, add my logo, add my watermark and so much more. Another way to differentiate yourself from the competition and get more sales. And of course, you've got your item specifications. Once you're done, you're going to click on save and import. And that is how simple it is to import products from your store that you got from the product research tool that we have ready up here for you guys so you can go ahead and get started right after watching this video. Another feature on the product finding system is of course the search feature. So you can simply search for anything that you're looking for. So now we're in popular products. Let's search for example for dog collar. And here we go. We've got all of these results. I'm just going to click on one of them. And now you can see what we have inside each product. So I clicked on this electric dog training collar. And as you see, this is the product. These are the images. We can see that this product has a 4.8 rating, which is good. This product is high quality. It's got 120 reviews from people who have bought it and 351 orders. This is the item cost. It ships from China. We've got different colors, which means more variations and more plug types, which means once again, more variations. The shipping is free, 11 business days. Then we've got the product's information. So this will be on our product page along with the product specifications. Here we've also got the policy. So we've got the return window. We know that we have 15 days to return this product and that the return shipping in this case is paid by the supplier, which is you, the seller. And that is because this product is coming from AliExpress and that is AliExpress's policy on most of their items. You can also click on reviews to read all of the user reviews from people who have bought this product. Then you've also got more recommended products. So for example, if this product is selling for you, simply see the more recommended products and add them to your store too, to continue multiplying your success. And one more note, soon we're also going to add wholesale suppliers. So if you wanna drop ship from wholesale suppliers, you'll be able to filter to see only their products and work only with them. So that pretty much sums up this new feature that we just released on AutoDS. I hope that it will help you guys with your product research. I hope that you guys will have as much fun with it as I'm having. Get those sales, get that profit, because at the end of the day, that is what we're all here to do. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you guys appreciate the value. Good luck with your product research and I'll see you on the other side.